So bunny. Yes. Last week, my family went on a road trip for my birthday. Uh huh. We we got back late on Friday, and then Saturday was sort of our decompression day. We were sleeping in a bit. We were unpacking. I streamed story time both on YouTube and Facebook uh, until my phone just overheated and turned off, and then uh, just YouTube. And then I put the finishing touches on last week's very long episode of the Pope on Film, which was awesome. Last week, I loved last week's episode. It was awesome. Yes. Long and awesome. And kudos to my wife, Natasha, for both sticking up for LGBT plus rights and exposing the dark underbelly of the Disney Pixar horror film known as Wally, because that's a fucked up film. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's a really good film. He, how is it that every single solitary day the passenger count is unchanged. Mm-hmm. There's something, just that. That's just one tiny bit of a very uh, intricate puzzle, just one piece of the puzzle, but that in and of itself is pretty goddamn fishy. Yes, I, I, I yeah. agree. I so think then, it's the robot reading program. Yeah. So then... Every Saturday night is Supernatural Saturday at our house. It's when we invite people over and we all sit down on the couch and re-watch the show Supernatural from the beginning. Deanna and Christian come over. They live in town now, and they're also living with Destiny and her husband, Matt. So uh-huh. that's why they're coming over more, and that helps me. It just helps me with my self-esteem and doubt and loneliness that I've been dealing with since the corporate purge of mid-February. Yeah. So it's it, it, it's nice to have a you know a a regular group of friends group of people come over and hang out and and uh, so on Saturday we watch TV then we recorded the podcast and then we hung out I stayed up until two a.m. playing Cards Against Humanity which I decimated at by the way yeah it got to the point where De- where Deanna was just fucking pissed off at me that's <laughs> true. Yeah. Really hated it. Yeah, she fucking hated that. Fuck you, Steve. Yeah. And that was fun. But then on Sunday, I I woke up and I was just empty. Yeah. And and I don't know why, but just but just the dread and the fear it was gone during the road trip because of course, you know, because we're on the road and we're having this adventure and, and, and it's a whole bunch of fun and my birthday. So so that was gone. But once we were back and we settled in, then it, it all sort of came flooding back this this fear of, oh, my God, I've been fired. I, I don't have work. I'm, I, I'm, I'm useless. Uh, what is wrong with me? Yeah. And above all, why won't the Mueller investigation just go for the fucking kill already. <laughs> just just so much doubt and fear, and it's difficult to maintain myself. And then on top of my PTSD from the robbery that I was in at the job that fired me. Yeah. So, so I knew I had to distract myself on uh-huh. Sunday. So I, I had to distract myself, and I wasn't sure how. So what I did is I, I played with the kids. I worked on some editing, worked on some writing, et cetera, but I needed more of a distraction. And I'm like, damn it, I need something to distract me, something mindless, something I don't have to pay attention to, some, something that I can pay attention to and also not pay attention to, and also just use it to sort of carry a bit of the weight of, of my own fear and my own whatever. So, so, so what I said was, eh. Let's watch these fucking Star Wars films. Okay. Um why the fuck not? Let's watch the let's watch these new Star Wars movies. Okay. Now I had watched the first one before, uh The Force Awakens. Those are all your trading cards, Maxwell, by the way. Not the stickers, but I got these trading cards for you. I got a bunch of trading cards for story time tomorrow, and uh, I, I thought it'd be cool to get all these wrestling cards, and then I realized that I'm going to be uh, giving cards with half-naked men to little children. <laughs> so so I kind of had second thoughts about the wrestling cards, and then I thought I was getting Justice League trading cards, but apparently they're Justice League trading cards for some justice league dice game and so like i 
Yeah. Harley Quinn, MP is three, strength is two. When this card is KO'd by damage during the battle step, gain one VP. And I'm like, oh, crap. I don't even know what these are either. So anyway, these are your trading cards, Maxwell. Congratulations. Thanks for playing. So I had seen the first Star Wars before. I hadn't seen the new one, The 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 Last Jedi. I never saw... Uh, Rage Uno, and I still haven't. I didn't watch that one. But but it, it, I am firmly against the Disneyfication of the Star Wars universe. Yeah. Just want to say that I'm not excited about these movies. The thing that I liked about the original Star Wars films is that they were self-contained movies. Uh-huh. You could the first Star Wars movie you could watch, and everything was tied up in a nice bow. And then they made a second film, and the second film, yeah, it all it raises some questions, and and it ends on a cliffhanger. But also, you can just watch that, you know, and 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 you know, they're sort of self-contained little universe, and and I liked it. But then Disney bought the company, and Disney bought Star Wars, and said, okay, well, this is what we're going to do. We are never going to be done making Star Wars movies. We will be making Star Wars movies now for the rest of our life, for the rest of your lives, for the rest of Maxwell's life, mm -hmm. for the rest of Eleanor's life. We'll never be done making fucking Star Wars movies. There will never be an end. And because of this, they want to make sure that they have enough uh, uh, things to work on for future movies. So, hey, Let's in this first Star Wars movie, which is just a remake of, of the original Star Wars, I've got an idea. Let's leave a bunch of unanswered questions. <laughs> With all these 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 gaping plot holes. People are like, oh, I wonder what this is. Oh, I'm gonna have to shell out money for five other films to find the answer to these questions. Plus, I'm also really upset that they destroyed the extended universe. Yeah. Still really upset about that it's upsetting to me what has been done to the star wars universe uh so i need but i needed to distract myself so i thought you know what fuck it so i watched i rewatched star wars the force awakens and the sequel star wars the last jedi and maybe it was the crippling doubt and fear and depression talking but they're not that bad okay the first one is basically just a modern big budget remake of the original Star Wars film, but with a black guy, a female hero, and a slightly different cute droid. Yeah. And I I, I was really upset at first about how vague and open-ended the, the film was. It, it goes out of its way not to answer shit, and that pisses me off. But in retrospect, I think all of the things that I'm upset with about The Force Awakens can just be attributed to... It is a J.J. Abrams film. Yeah. He wrote it, he directed it, he had his hands in everything, so it really is just like the film stinks of Abrams. <laughs> you know, it's J.J. Abrams and his weird vulture nose going, the hero's journey, let's leave these unanswered questions, yeah. let's work on these, yeah, let, 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 let's, let's keep this open, let's, let's really explore this universe and it's just yeah it, it's it's just jj abrams's remake of the original star wars film that's all it is and 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 okay it, that's fine so mm -hmm. I, you, you should watch so rogue then, one it okay. had a very happy ending yeah all, all of the all of the heroes yeah. that we watched through the whole thing die so i, I found yeah. it uplifting yeah well I might find it uplifting. The entire family and I watched Seeking a Friend for the End of the World. Yeah. For the first time. We all watched it for the first time together. And afterwards, like, everybody's depressed and everybody's sad. And one or two uh, teenage girls may have been crying. But I was really happy. Yeah. At the end of the film. And people were upset at me. I remember Bella getting, like, pissed off at me. Like, like... How dare you be happy? That was depressing. It's sad. How could you be happy? And it's like, well, look at it from the guy's point of view. Yeah, the world ended and he's dead, but he but he found someone. Yeah. 
and he 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 yeah his life is is over but his life is over next to the one person he you know the one person he always wanted in his life yeah and i found that to be a win so i don't know like i i understand like even when they were when like the first preview for rogue one came out i'm like okay well i know the story of star wars and i know that there's no way for this to happen without everybody in this film dying but also it's like well my Star Wars is a new hope. So they got new hope to defeat the Empire because of all these dead people. So it, it, it's vaguely uplifting, depending on how you look at it. Yeah. You know? If if these people hadn't died to succeed, we never would have gotten Porgs. Um, true, I guess. I don't know. I haven't seen the Porgs yet, so I, 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 I have no strong opinion on Porgs one way or the other. Well, the thing is, is that a lot of people hated the second Star Wars film, The Last Jedi, but I kind of liked it. I think I really liked it, and, and here's why I liked it. Um, number one, the heroes just fail in the film. Okay. Number one. Number two, I like the fact that, oh, here's the here's the one person in the movie who's the stereotypical ace pilot, rogue pilot, dashing, uh, fly-by-night guy who lives by his own rules. And guess what? He's getting slapped in the face by the captain. You know why he's getting slapped in the face by the captain? Because, sure, in movies, these I, I play by my own rules people are beloved – but in an actual war, that guy's a fucking asshole. <laughs> and his his uh, uh, devil may care, uh, lovable rogue attitude is leading to people's fucking deaths. <laughs> and I like the fact that people are finally realizing that, yeah, you know what? Han Solo did shoot first. And you know why he shot first? Because he's a fucking asshole. <laughs> yeah. It's important to remember this. So that's number one. Uh, number two, there's a Vegas planet. I like that. Number three, they, the, 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 reason why, the reason why I like The Last Jedi is because the big complaint over The Force Awakens was, oh, this film was just Star Wars. They just remade Star Wars. I was expecting something different. And then... They make this second Star Wars movie, and they're like, okay, we're going to make the Force do different things, crazy things. We're going to have the Force do things it's never done before. We're going to go to this weird fucking Vegas planet. Really bad things are going to happen to the lead characters. People are going to be dying. There's going to be different. You know, a lot of the unanswered questions from the first film, we're just going to completely toss those aside because they don't matter. <laughs> they absolutely don't matter. Nobody cares. We're going to make this film completely different. So then the Star Wars fans who hated the first new Star Wars movie because it wasn't different were upset with the second Star Wars film because they're like, whoa, why is everything so different? <laughs> this isn't a Star Wars film. Jedis can't do that. The, we've never seen the Force do this before. Oh, so this is some new planet we've never heard of? Why is this so different? Basically, Star Wars fans you can't fucking uh you can't please them oh no 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 you so can't. i so i liked the film because yeah this is a different film this doesn't feel like a star wars film and that's what i kind of like about it okay i also like the fact that one thing we've talked about here on the podcast is i like it when there's like a fanciful film this unbelievable film but they have a bit of normal dialogue yeah I always like normal dialogue in a film. Like the one scene in the Star Trek reboot where I am Captain Pike. I, 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 am, I am Captain Pike, captain of the Starship Enterprise. I, I am Captain Christopher Pike, uh, captain of this, of the Starship Enterprise. And then the bad guy goes, hello, Christopher, I'm Nero. Yes. It's like, I like that. And there were maybe like one scene, there was maybe one scene or two scenes like that in the first Star Wars film. There's a shit ton in The Last Jedi. Yeah, good. 
because that is that is what what has been missing from the Star Wars films. You know, yeah. like Han and Leia had had very normal back and forth kind of kind of dialogue. Yeah. In yeah. most of the movies, the the Star War, the two Star new Star Wars movies, I saw The Force Awakens and I saw uh, Rogue Squadron, and they were both so full of themselves. Yeah, the movies, you know, everything was dripping with pathos. You know, there was yeah. there was no fun. Look at how serious we are. Yeah. Yeah. But I like I like the there there's there's just a lot more scenes where people are talking normally like Luke is talking to Ray and and Luke goes where are you from and she says I'm from nowhere and Luke all serious Jedi master goes no one is from nowhere and she says I'm from the planet blank and and Luke just really honestly goes okay yeah that's pretty much nowhere <laughs> It's like, I like that. That's very normal. Like, I would, like, hey, Steve, where are you from? Oh, I'm from nowhere. Oh, no, you're from somewhere. Where are you from? I'm from Shawnee, Oklahoma. Okay, yeah, no, that's nowhere. That's fucking nowhere. <laughs> There's also a scene where uh, Poe, the, the lovable rogue, is uh, sending a message to, like, the, the, the head guy on the evil Starfleet. And he's like, I have a message for whatever... Commander Snote or whatever. This is Commander Snote, and you, 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 and your rebels are scum, and you have been defeated, and you will all be destroyed. And then Poe just goes, "Yes, I'm holding for the commander. <laughs> this is the commander. You and your, you and your, you and your, your rebels will be destroyed. Okay, then I'll hold." <laughs> and they just go back and forth for a little bit. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Uh, yes, Commander Snow, uh, short guy, red hair. <laughs> this is Commander Snow. Okay, well, uh, uh, do you know how long he'll be? So I've been on hold for a while. The the new Star Wars film is is a bit more of a risk taker than The Force Awakens, and I kind of like that. I'm still not fully on board on the Star Wars bandwagon, though, because J.J. Abrams is coming back for the next Star Wars film. Yeah. So, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, for, so for episode nine, and he's sure to bring it back to the land of cheese. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not excited about that. But still, like I liked it a little bit. I liked it. I liked it more. Yeah. So far, out of all the Star Wars, the new Star Wars movies, really liked the Last Jedi. And I ended up, I do, I was just watching it, and the next thing you know, um, Bella comes in. She's like, "What are you watching?" I'm, I'm watching the last new Star Wars movie, and she ends up sitting down with me and watching some of it. And then Maxwell comes in, and and he's like, "What are you watching, Star Wars?" Because I keep trying. I've tried for the entire six years of Maxwell's life to get him to sit down and watch Star Wars me with me, and he absolutely won't. But then next thing you know, there are like speeders, yeah, ships, and suddenly he's the most excited fucking kid in the world. <laughs> and he ended up sitting down and watching a huge amount of it with me. So that's good. So I'm excited about that. So Maxwell, I'm I'm very close to getting him finally getting him into fucking Star Wars. So I'm into Star Wars now. Converted. You're into Star Wars because you saw the last fifty five minutes of one Star Wars movie. That's because of Luke Skywalker. Yeah, Luke's Luke uh, uh Starhopper. <laughs> Luke Starbuckle or something like that. Luke Skywalker. Yeah. Luke Starkiller. So, Skywalker. 